Hi all, my name is Tom Rum and welcome to Night Bites, with a new style of video to this channel where we're going to be looking at the little and not so little updates that are coming for Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis. We got a pretty large announcement today. Yeah, we got a roadmap. It seems the developers have finally heard our pleas and have given us a rough idea of the upcoming content. We should note that unlike a normal roadmap that you might expect we don't actually have every piece of information on there so we'll have a rough idea let's have a look and while we hold this in the background let's bring up the roadmap and show you what we have going on this is what we have at the moment it's it's definitely interesting we have got four months really three months of updates so let's go over everything we know that's coming up and some of the information that's not on here as well as of tonight uh as of tonight pretty much the video dropping we have four crisis dungeon very hard modes returning allowing players who haven't already completed them to catch up this will drop in roughly roughly about either four to ten hours i believe it's about four hours time and that will be mithril mine fort tamblin the pine coast and grastia path very hard mode if you haven't completed them already this is your opportunity to catch up get your crisis medals and prepare for the future of the game moving into october 2nd we actually got shiva and remu coming Yes, this is the new summon that we have been all waiting for. We were hinted about this quite a few months ago, and it seems they're finally going to drop. How we're going to challenge them? I don't know. It's going to be quite interesting to see how we fight them, and let's have a look at what's coming up. This will be on October 2nd. Moving into October 9th, we have a new story coming. Despite it not being mentioned on this roadmap, we do know that thanks to other sources, that this should be First Soldier Chapter 2 involving Sephiroth, a young Angeal, and the journey to gaining Masamune. Moving a little bit later into October, we do have a return to the spooky slash Halloween seasonal event, Pumpkin Fest Attack of the Dark Army General. With this will come a few outfits. Rumors have said that this is going to involve Kate, Vincent, and potentially Yuffie, so we'd like to see what happens with that. Additionally, towards, I believe, mid to later the month, we are getting a brand update. This will allow players to look at mo to use multiple of the same branding stone at once instead of just clicking, accepting, returning, clicking, accepting, returning at about that speed. It's a long process, so we can't wait to see how that comes in. Moving into November, we have Zack getting a new chapter to his story of Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core, this being Chapter 5. Along with the story and likely connected to it, we actually have Ifrit getting his stream expansion. We can't wait to see how the Infernal Summon will give us a new challenge to fight. As with all other prior stream expansions, this will move it to roughly around 189 streams and to have noble memories. So if you have your prior memories, I don't believe they're going to be useful moving forwards, but I would prepare to start looking at your ice teams if you want to prepare for this in the future. Additionally, in the month, we're going to be getting a function update coming to both the guild shop and the weapon enhancement. This was spoken to us about in the comments during the anniversary, and this is going to include stuff like a buy all function in the shop and a bulk overboost. This means that when you've farmed a bunch of events or you've gone on a pull fest, you can take your weapon from level one straight to level 80 and ob10 if you really want to in a very very short amount of time that's going to make our lives a lot easier most importantly though for november is the special event yes this is what we are currently believing to be the next collab yeah it's not that far really it's just over a month what do we think it's going to be? Well, thanks to the letter from the producer, we do believe this is going to be the collaboration of a numbered Final Fantasy title. Which one it's going to be? 
Well, we don't actually know. Let us know what you expect it to be, because a lot of people have a lot of expectations from Final Fantasy 9, 10, 13. I've heard 6 mentioned, 4. I've even heard Final Fantasy 11. It'd be interesting to see what game comes up and how we can incorporate it, especially as most collabs tend to bring quite interesting weapons, especially as the last time for Final Fantasy IX brought in some of the best in slot weapons which are still used to this day in certain fights. Moving into December, we have another chapter release to story mode. We have no confirmation of what this story is with it just saying new chapter release, but thanks to a bit of a guess and understanding of like the speed they release content we could be potentially seeing Final Fantasy core story or maybe just first soldier part two now the rumors that we've heard will say it is first soldier part two but i'm kind of hoping myself that it's going to be two different stories at the same time this will allow us to something else that we're going to be speaking on in a moment and I would love to see multiple come down. Do you think it's going to be more than one chapter? Do you think it's just going to be one chapter per month? Again, let us know. We'd love to hear your feedback. Celebrating the year end, we also have a new summon coming to the game, Titan. Yes, we have been working with the base three elements, fire, ice, and lightning for quite a while during the first year. Now, many of us have been waiting to clash boulders with this summon, and hopefully it provides quite a challenge and allows us to expand our roster quite a bit. Rounding up the year, we actually have a seasonal Christmas-style event alongside the year's end event. Now, this is a massive for us because Christmas event was always just something really nice and chill to do, but year's end. Year's end was where we got the reveal for Yuffie. A lot of players will be now looking at this in case more reveals are hidden this year. Perhaps a certain spear-wielding pilot joining us? Well, we don't know, but we can definitely hope. Maybe it's Angeal that drops that uh, gets revealed then. Let's find out, let's wait, and let's hope to see what happens. Now, this is all the confirmed information we have coming to Ever Crisis currently, but I know for a fact that there's going to be more other content coming to the game. We've got extra banners. We've got guild battles for at least the next three months because they have said it's going to be monthly. We've probably got smaller events and little mini events like catch up for quests of extra gear or extra experience, something along those lines coming up in the coming months as well. Let us know what you're most excited to see with the game coming forward and if you could choose the next Final Fantasy collab, what number game would you choose and what weapon would you give to your favorite character? This has been Tom Rum doing your night bites and thank you for watching.